Now that's how you roll the rock. Yeah, it's a lovely putt to make for Booty. Take some pride in that one. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And all of them are chasing Tiger once again mm -hmm. as we move to the next. I'm on his back. <laughs> now on the top, <coughs> fresh off a birdie, a great opportunity to build on that momentum. Big hitters will be able to take advantage and drive it over those bunkers down the right-hand side, leaving a very straightforward and basic second shot back up the hill. Oh, get hell yeah. Taking aim from around 240 yards out here. Little extra club required going back uphill for their second shot if they want to get it all the way back to this whole location. And here we are with the third shot. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? Judging it beautifully. John, give us a small update. Hello up there. We are uh, checking in down here with Harold Varner III as he gets set for his next shot here on the 17th. Get in. Now that's a good putt to hold any day of the week. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Here we are at the fourth hole. Well, I like the way this person's playing. Birdie's all over that scorecard. It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. They've chosen to club down here. Lovely effort, that. A putt here to move to 16 under par. That is hunting for the hole. Let go. Oh, what an excellent time to make a big putt like that. And you bet their rival knows just what happened. And now we have this player currently sharing top spot on the leaderboard with the legendary Tiger oh. Woods. Oh, what time, what time? It's the final round. Next up is a par four. Always a stern test. Let's go. I'm trying to take this home, bitch. Ooh. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Yeah, he's looking at maybe a little over 130 to the pin. And choosing the eight iron here. This one needs to kick left. The Rich, always like going back and looking at T-Dub and some of the magnificent stuff he delivers. Our current leader is showing us why they're on top. For a fucking evil devil this time. Pretty straightforward oh shot. About what you'd expect to see from this player. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Has to putt this one downhill. Well, that's a nice line. Oh. That was a gallant attempt. Big putt for par coming up. Yeah, Just two boy. shots back yeah. after that hole. Yeah, that. Ooh. I mean, sorry to that hole. Here we, we are at the sixth hole. Damn eagle. And that's a nice strike. This one should find the fairway. <coughs> and he's hit that inside the range. 
This putt is about 15 feet to the hole. Just didn't oh. draw. An opportunity to make their par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. We have a par three on this one. Going with the seven. That dog will hunt. Well, there's uh, action of plenty all over the course. Let's have a look at this highlight from another player. Grab him. This is an opportunity now to move to 17 under par. Little birdie look in here. This is a good chance. Down. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. Let's go. Let's go. The leaderboard has them sitting in second place behind Tiger Woods. Yeah, this hole's a tough two shotter, a long par four. Coming off a birdie at the last, looking to add another one. Yeah. From around 180 yards out. Just one shot back now. Going with the eight iron here. Mm -hmm. All right, going with a little bit more club. Let's see. And now we go to the 15th, where this happened just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with a great shot. <coughs> Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Careful not to leave this one short. It's Whoa. back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. Okay. Well, Bro, harsh. 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 Let's go. Oh, oh, so close. Please. That'll sting a bit. And this one is for his par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. This hole is a long par four. It is, Luke. The fairway pinches in quite narrowly up there with the bunkers come into play. Second shot, maybe slightly <coughs> back uphill to a green that is absolutely colossal. <coughs> Nicely done. <coughs> Man, Taking aim arm. from about 170 yards. Her, her right Two hand. strokes off the lead. You open our front door, right? Going with the pitching wedge here. Oh, what in the hell? Well, what happened there? They don't stop, yeah, What bro. a rare miss today. They've been so good with their approach shots. Time now for the fourth shot. Just two shots behind. Seven yeah. feet to the cup. Yeah, that's me, uh... Not a bad line, this. 
That's a good putt to hold for a bogey. Mm. Rich, this player's just a few shots back with the last nine to play. Did you prefer to be the Greyhound or the Bunny? I want to be the Greyhound. I'm sprinting away if I possibly can. This player's three back. They need to start sprinting. Good shot there, Beamer. And what's in front of them there, Henny? He's got around 100 yards here. Oh, what? Oh, looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Getting ready to play their third. Just three back from the leader. Yeah, that's a top little chip shot, that one. Love watching this player around the greens. A chance to save the par okay. if he can make this one. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. And the entire field looks up at that familiar sight and sees the name of Tiger Woods on top. Teeing off here at the 11th. the effort that one and this shot from about 150 yards out he's two shots back <coughs> chosen the pitching wedge here Oh, that's a great approach shot. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. A birdie putter waits. You think you were laughing? That's real crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought my baby was going to be crying. Looking really good, this one. Well hold. And this effort by Justin Thomas just a short while ago. Lining up for his second. And after that effort, mm -hmm. this is how the field is shaping up. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. I tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. Oh, exciting times on the tee of a par five. That's really not they were looking for. Second shot here on the 12th. That a boy, good shot. And here we are with the third shot. Just one straight back in this tournament. Choosing the nine iron here. This one looks to be heading towards the green. Mm. Well, he means business coming out, hitting shots like that against HV3. I think Harold's just as surprised as I am. Looking good. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Step aside, everyone else. Now number one. Leading by a shot after that hole. Oh, let's go. Let's go, baby. Par threes always shot. offer up that hope of a hole in one. Going with the pitching wedge here. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the 13th. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, this is looking nice. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. Eight birdies. Let's go.
And with that hole behind us, they're currently in the lead with Tiger Woods in second place. Yeah, yeah. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. John, what's going on out there? Hey guys, we are checking in with John Rahm as he gets set for his next shot here on the 18th. Second shot here on the 14th. <laughs> didn't like that. No, she didn't. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, I love this type of courage, Rich. Going forward in two. I'll tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game. A bold play. Hopefully a bold reward. You better. Oh. Quite have the right stuff there. Six feet remaining to the cup. Nice line. Well, that'll play. He finds himself in a share of the lead. Ooh, you son of a bitch. And we've arrived at a par three. Come on, sir. This time, are you trying to check that guy? I'm not going to have it. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. Gee, it's metronomic here. Green after green. Gee, golf looks easy when you're playing like this. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. Nice stroke. Oh, oh you got it. Was looking good, wasn't it? An opportunity wow, to make a bro. par here. That is. That, that is. gets the job done. One oh, and a half with four oh, to go. Fucked and up. Let's go. And a par four awaits at he this must next have got a bogey. And just under 400 yards, Luke. I because just don't Lord. see most players taking out driver and giving it a go. Ooh. Just hit an iron short left of that fairway bunker. Wedge it on, make your birdie. Second shot here on the 16. <coughs> oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. A seven footer 
right here. Don't mind the look of this. And that's for Birdie. Well hold. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. We've arrived at a par four. for the second shot at the 17th. Yeah, that one's looking good. That's just inside the range. And Henny, what are they looking at here? He's looking at around 14 foot, <laughs> I'd say. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. <laughs> <laughs> this one has eyes for the hole. Let's go, baby. Yeah, you like the look of yeah, that. Yeah, it only comes when you, when you go a long there, distance, Rello. Because it'd be some, it'd be some certain courses, my nigga, where you had a wind blowing. Stop your 5 miles, 10 miles, 12 miles, 15 miles per hour sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And lead. you really got to calculate how far. So well, this if is the, when the adrenaline really it, starts to kick in. There you go, Mark. You do sometimes 20. So if, the, if, if your shit is blowing to the left, Otis, and it's like directly to the left, Rello. Pull, yeah, pull that mother. No, you're right, Molly. No, you 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 right. If the if the wind, if your arrow at the top is pointing to the left, oh this, you want to pull back right, Molly. You right because the wind is blowing it to the left. You know what I'm saying? So you want to pull right to get behind the wind. I'm kind of directing where my wind because I ain't got no wind right now. That's how I direct it. So. Okay, uh, northwest, northwest. So your shit is like, is it like going up and down or down, like to the right? Okay, so I will say, I ain't got no damn wind right now. Um, let's go around. The reason why I said it, you got it, cause because. Once you hit the ball, you want the ball to go towards the wind because the wind is going to push it back to the left or the right. It, it depends on which way the wind is going. If the wind is going right, you want to push that shit more to the left because the ball is going to carry itself. And the, once it get up in the wind, you're going to see the ball drifting towards the right, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And then if you if it's going left or northeast or northwest, you got to hit that shit right because you're going to see once it gets in the air, you're going to see that shit curving towards the left you believe me once you get a couple shots in all this in the air you'll see which way to hit that bitch you got to hit away from the wind rello because it, it's going to carry that shit well you got it's like you got to hit into it so it'll carry it to the left because the wind is going to the left so you got to hit right up in the air so that bitch a curve because you're going to see it curve in the air to the left my nigga you know what i'm saying so you just got to depict the wind on, on how hard it's blowing and all that shit because your shit is blowing at nine miles per hour Angle, you got to angle away from the shit. So if the shit going, you know what I mean? You, you know how to just angle the shit. You got to go into the wind, my nigga. Because that shit, as soon as you get in the air, you're going to see that shit curving. I've had some crazy shots like that, boy. That wind can, 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 can. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament. And that's exhibit A. <laughs> 
Luke, that <laughs> it's one was over, humongous. Bro. Opting for the 9 iron. On the hill, damn it, I'm in. Yep, that shot safely on the green. This is always oh, a good moment. A putt to win the tournament. Oh, oh. oh did you see that one fly by? And now this, to win the BMW Championship. Oh, what? Let's go. Rolling end to end as oh, they, oh, they are hating. Oh my, that would have won the event. What was the talent, bro? Disappointment for that player. Bro, they, they hated on me right there. Yeah. Well, Rich, it's time to find out who will win this in a sudden death playoff. Sudden, oh my oh, God. God. Loves a playoff, Luke. I'm excited about Fucking this. Fucking sudden well, death. It's take sudden death to decide this title. Any player who finishes the hole with Luke, more strokes than go. another player will be eliminated. Raw hands when there's. Six. Oh my this God, this is my first sudden death. Oh, it's me and Tiger. <laughs> Look, this player has not played this hole as well Son as their opponent. It'll bit. be interesting to see if they can conjure up something special in this playoff. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Come on, Shane. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Well, a big moment here. Really got to be aggressive if they want to have a chance in this one. With their opponent in their close loop, absolutely take dead aim. And I did it. Came with the nine iron, I think. Yeah. Plenty of nerves and pressure on the next part. They're on the green, but lots of work left to do. It's all come down to this. Putt for the title. This is what they have left for Birdie here. Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> this truly is do or die. They need this to extend the playoff. Oh my god, yo. If they don't stop with the shenanigans. Putt is underway. <laughs> and that'll force this playoff to another hole. Oh, Lord. And now onto the next hole of this playoff. And the US Mexico rivalry is fascinating. I was well, playing Tiger was Woods in a sudden death. <laughs> well, it seems obvious. This is they my really first sudden death, man. Close if they want to have a chance. They have to expect their opponent to make that putt, Luke, so you have to take a chance and get it close. Oh, yeah. oh, stop it. What a shot. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. And it's all come down to this. Make this putt and win the event. Looks good off the blade. Let's go! Mighty performance, winning the second Let's go. Best Cup playoff event, driving away with the BMW Championship. The second FedEx Cup win, baby. The Tour Championship finale, where they could go on and to win the Tour Championship and the FedEx Cup title. What Let's a performance go. And I this got week. a trophy. Let's get it. Winning. Well, that'll put playoff, a smile baby. on the dial, won't it, Rich? That's the hey. performance. Hey, we that pro, it done on the second <laughs> playoff hole. What a great win for this player. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed our extra coverage in this hey, week's that playoff thing got it. From myself and all the hardworking people at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. I had but nigga out of my tournament I was just in on this I just won out of BMW. I had three Eagles really. Fifty-two fucking birdies. Six bogeys and two double bogeys, bro.
real. <laughs> Roy Hawkins secures the spot in the Tour Championship. Let's go! Let's go, baby. Sports in association with the PGA Tour is delighted to welcome you to the Fenners Cup playoffs finale. Today's coverage of the Tour Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our feature. Hey guys, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing these two go at it again. It was a great rivalry first time round, and now more so than ever, they're going to want to beat each other. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to following along with this rivalry. Can't wait to see what sort of excitement these two will generate. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. That's a good looking shot there. The opening hole, Richard Eastlake, is not yeah, an easy one. Right it is not one second shot. Play straight south back west, up the nigga. hill. A green that tilts from back to front. And I Two bunkers on the opening of this green, right, right and left, pose all shit. sorts of problems. We're gonna roll, baby. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. It's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. <laughs> And coming up well short. There you go. Just a natural Oh, that's ugly. Oh, that is ugly. Now, this is a challenging one. A lengthy putt awaits. Solid little par putt here. Come on. Let's go. And down it goes. That's a rock solid par right there. Moments like that deserve another look. What an amazing putt from way out. Sitting at minus eight for the tournament. This hole is a par three. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. <laughs> good shot. <there. coughs> Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Hey guys, we are checking in with Ricky oh. Fowler Ooh. as he gets set for his next shot here on the third. Always well, nice to have a birdie putt. Why? Right, what happened? <laughs> That's very impressive. Let's go. Just the start they were looking for, Luke. So, okay, what you, what you mean though? But like, like, what you mean? Currently in first position. Because you know, Relo, you can go to, at the beginning. You can go to tutorial to where they can show you how to get your swing. Okay. 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 Here we are at the third. You just gotta get the hang of it. That's it. That's it. I'm telling you, it's the, the wind. Don't let the don't let the wind factor fuck with you, bro. You just gotta get the hang of that shit. Because that wind, and like I said, it can make you or break you. Yeah, you know I mean. Right, right. Just like I said, man. Just go, just play the exhibition and just go do your thing, man. 
Yeah. No, you can no hell no no. Yeah, right. Not here. No, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Ooh, stop, baby. Second shot here on the third. Oh, Schmigo, huh? Mm. Oh, well done. This one's for Birdie. Good looking putt. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back to back birdies. That hole looks double the size for this player this week. And looking at the standings now, and they're currently in first place ahead of Tiger Woods, who's second. Ting off here at the fourth. We're going through the bush. Yeah, there we go. Oh, well played. My career is when you actually make Rich your own career and then you start uh going go through the that's what I'm that's what I'm doing right now. Fantastic touch on this one. <coughs> yes, it's in. It's just play you create and you can, the yeah, you play like exhibition and all that old type of What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yeah, the my career is your actual career career. You make a golfer and then you go you start your actual golf career. You know what I'm saying? Leading all the way up to the, the PGA tour and whatnot. Yeah. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Okay, that'll work. Already had a few birdies today. This for another. Hello in there. My name's Leonard. I'm here with the This has eyes for the hole. Oh my. Yeah, God. that's lovely weight. Getting it right up by the hole. Excellent job. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Oh, Tiger on my heels. It's time to step on the tee That's here at the fifth. Hi, uh, hello, Leonard. We need to get your own hand. Ah, great shot. Playing from around 110 yards out. He's got a two-stroke buffer. There is. Why don't you open the door? You use your free speak face to face. Choosing the nine iron here. They've decided to club up. Well, that's well judged. Hole high, right inside the range. Good opportunity coming up to move into the top ten on the leaderboard. This is buckets. And back to the course with the live action. This part of about six feet coming up. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. This looks good. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. This player is putting for fun. Leading by three strokes now. The sixth hole at uh, East Lake Ridge, one to get after. You don't need to be long off the tee, Luke. It's only 525 yards, but the second shot plays straight back up the hill, so a little length helps. Ah, bit untidy, wasn't it? Playing up to an elevated green here. Like I said, we need to talk. It's like oh. they've got the five wood. Uh, that won't get a good lie, I'm sure. Like no, this is not a good outcome. Buried in the deep stuff. Oh, my God. And here we are with their four. Now a three-shot lead over the field. Holy shit. Time for the fifth shot. Wow, that almost went in the hole. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. 
deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. There's bush and shit everywhere. Ooh. It's like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's yeah, in the it rough. Did. Is that what they had in mind? Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. He's already Baker. Getting ready to play their third. Ooh, that's a tasty looking chip. Top shot. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Hey guys, we are checking in with Ricky Fowler as he gets set for his next shot here on the eighth. And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. We've reached the eighth hole. They say trees are 90% air, but so are fly screens. Try hitting a ball through one of those. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Yep, I've paced this. He's got around 195. Opting for the six iron. Oh, Ooh, this would be handy yeah. if he could bounce right. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. An opportunity oh, for a booty here. Let's go home. Let's Come on, ball. Ready. Don't deny it. Let's go. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. And it's time to recap that play. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Ricky Fowler as he gets set for his next shot here on the ninth. <laughs> oh, that one. oh, what a touch of class. Holds it from the sand. Okay, time to return to the action. Our leader is up by four shots now. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Andrew. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Well, this one's right at the pin. Get Ooh, oh! I almost had a hole in one, oh. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. This one here. Oh, this is my from goodness. Back to back birdies moving him in the right direction. This one's oh, looking good. Oh, my goodness. Mark it down. That's <coughs> number five. I almost had back a back fucking birdies hole. That in the right direction there, Luke. Bounce on it and roll slow right. I mean, right past the hole, bro. Currently 12 under for the round. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that was pure. Henny, what's the player facing here? They can't quite see the green here, Luke, because it's elevated, it's much well, higher. Okay. They're definitely going to have to club up. Let's see if we can get this one up and down for par. Andrew. 
Didn't that look good for a long time? Four feet to the cup. This for par. Yep, tracking well. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. And our intrepid on course reporter, John, standing by. Hey, guys, we are checking in with Ricky Fowler as he gets set for his next shot here on the 11th. That's outstanding. What a putt. And that will take him to five under. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Pegging it up on the 11th hole here. Going with the hybrid. Oh, that was a nice one. Yeah. No green in red, but a chance to save their par. I'm so sorry. Oh, I thought oh, that one was oh, going yeah. in. Oh, I did too, and man. This putt coming up for his par. Okay, steady now. Just three feet to the cup. Well, that's providing some hope to the rest of the field as our leader stumbles with a bogey. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Looking to bounce back after that bogey, and they've got a great opportunity here. Anthony, what's he looking at here? Yeah, he's got a round 125 here. Mm. Yeah, quality shot, that. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Still a fair way away from the hole here. Time to make a long putt. That looked good for a long time, didn't it? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, well done. John, do you have any info down there? Hey guys, we are checking in with Ricky Fowler as he gets set for his next shot here on the 13th. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Always the toughest hole in the game. A long par four. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. Playing to an elevated green here. Let's see if they've got the right club. Opting for the nine iron. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. He's got a par part here. Let's see if he can make it. That's frustrating. Three feet to go here to the hole. Well, they say a bogey pleases someone. The rest of the field buoyed now after that drop shot by our leader. It's Brooke Henderson coming off a birdie on her last hole, and that will take her to two shots off the lead. Let's head to this lengthy par four. Playing from around 210 yards here. Currently leading by two. I like that, didn't you? 
Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Ricky Fowler as he gets set for his next shot here on the 15th. And this putt is from birdie three on the scorecard. That's disappointing. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. We can't issue the Ezra card at some group, and it sounds like it sounds like you want to opting for the five iron. Well, that's a handy shot. Trying to recruit us? Trying to I get to 11 under with this part. Father, introducing yourself to us, right? You're trying to change us. Looking good. And Let's that go. part will give them birdie number six on the day. Let's go. And at the end of that hole, he's gone into clear outright leader. And there's a lot of pressure on the line, Rich, as we get to the closing holes at Eastlake. And here we are at 16. Tough tee shot, 454 yards. Deep bunker down the right-hand side. Tee shot plays straight back up the hill. Go ahead and give her a wallop. Time to take a look at the action at the 17th hole. About 145 yards out from here. Before I got up here, I was a line cook. This shot is about 140 yards out. He leads the field by a stroke. Yeah, nicely played. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. This is a par putt. Ooh, right by the hole. And that was a bogey by our leader. So the rest of the field feeling a little opportunity here to close the gap. But as we get to the penultimate hole at Eastlake, Rich, what does it require? The tee has been moved back some 60 yards over the last couple of years, putting a premium on finding the fairway. Those bunkers down the left-hand side are menacing, to say the least. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Well, what a wonderful shot into the 17th. It sets up another putt inside birdie range. <laughs> More confidence as well with their putter. Yeah, I like their chances. A school break of some guy. <laughs> well, good for the momentum. These ones right on eight feet. <laughs> Looks good. And that's a great way to forget about that bogey on the last. So, still currently in the lead after that hole, but Tiger Woods is lurking at second place. And after a recent switch of the nines here at Eastlake, the finishing hole's gone from a tough par three, Rich, to a really gettable five. Go ahead and take out the driver and enjoy this tee shot. It might be difficult, but if you hit it in the fairway, you'll definitely be rewarded by being able to go for it in two. Pretty good shot there. This shot from around 210 yards. Currently in the lead by a shot. Oh. Going with the five iron here. Yeah, this one, it's uh, veering off a little bit to the right. And here we are with the third shot. Okay, safely on the surface, a chance for the putt to be hold here. Putting for birdie here. And with that, this round comes to a close.
And Rich, as this round comes to an end, this player is just barely leading the field, but absolutely loving the action this week. No doubt, Luke. And even with the very slender lead going into tomorrow's round, Luke, I'm interested to see how well this player sleeps tonight. On behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in, and see you next time. Which I don't. That's what it means. I would watch the wall guy a hundred times over before having it. Sports in association with the PGA Tour is proud to bring you the season long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Tour Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam, and Rich, this player starts their round in the lead. What's the game plan for them today? Yes, right now the game plan is working, but they still have to go out there and play off the front foot play on offense and not worry about who's chasing them. Today's promising to be an exciting one. So let's get straight into the action. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? I'd say he's about 165 from his flag. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Would need something special to happen to get the birdie here. What's in front of them, Henny? This one will run uphill. Ooh. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. He's got this for his part. Well, that's a no-fuss par to get the round underway, Rich. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. He sits in first position. Time to tee off at the second. Looks to be going with the five iron. Needs a little ground help to the left. Yeah, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. John, you're down there. What's happening? Hey, guys, we're checking in with Xander Shoffley as he gets set for his next shot here on the sixth. Let's return to live play now. We're lining up the birdie putt here. This putt just five feet away from the hole. The tomorrow war. This is looking solid, what they wanted. And there it is. And with that hole behind them, they currently lead ahead of Tiger Woods, who's second. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Yeah, that one will play. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. His ass was scared. Wonderfully played. Putting for birdie. A good stroke. Look the old hammer hands putt. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Currently 12 under for the event. We have a par four on this one. Wow, that was just striped. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 175 yards. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this putt 23 feet from the cup. This one looking really good. Just building upon his advantage. He keeps making the important plays. Fantastic start right out of the gate. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? Now over to Ricky Fowler. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? Okay, let's get back to the action. Our current leader is up by three shots. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Oh, absolutely flushed. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? This is looking around 115 yards out. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. While they've got their eye locked in. Look at that approach shot against Ricky Fowler as well. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Well, that's an early statement right there. Game face on early here, Luke. Still in the lead now after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. You don't need to be long off the tee, Luke. It's only 525 yards, but the second shot is really <coughs> straight back up the hill. So a little length helps. It's amazing. Amazing five tickets and a lot less
You're like a penny or something, huh? What's up, my penis? Hmm? Why are you in there? Are you sitting here? No. I will not. I can't take it. Hi, <laughs> mommy. You can go with the grid today. You got the ears too, looking all pretty and stuff, You looking all pretty. My penis looking all pretty. Yes, you are, girl. That's what you see, baby. You the big girl too. Did it hurt? No? Did it hurt, mommy? <laughs> I'm missing it. <laughs> Holy shit. Was something bothering you? You can't watch TV? Huh? Oh, okay. Y'all running now. Whoa. Sorry about that, folks. We're walking home. Second shot here on the sixth. Getting ready to play their third. That's on the green, but still a fair way away from the flag. Trying to get to 15 under now with this opportunity. up it could be in okay. now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler he's currently in fifth place what's in front of them Henny with this part all right down the hill here gotta be gentle just didn't drop no that's too bad so after that effort this is what the leaderboard looks like our current leader enjoys a five shot advantage Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four.
was wonderfully done. And he's down there. He's got, hmm, I'd say a solid 145 here. Check out the view, it's better than the website. That's tidy. Trying to get to 16 under with this putt. Oh, nice putt to make for a birdie. Now six shots in front after that hole. Next up is this par four hole. Oh, you see that one bouncing around the branches like a pinball machine? Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? This hole location for him, well, it's about 185 yards out. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. And a fantastic look upcoming. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's going to want to improve on that current fifth spot. Here's Ricky Fowler. Went straight down. So after that effort, this is the current standings on the course. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. Here we go. We're beginning the ninth hole now. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. This part of about seven feet to the hole. That's tracking. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. Going with a three wood here. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. And as we step Mate, where's the our bottle at? Rich, always good to look back at the nine holes just played. Look, so far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head to head. Not too sure exactly how this is going to play out. But so far, so good. Love watching these two compete. Elevated greens are always oh. difficult to approach. Make sure you got the right number. I can't get over there right now. You said he was done, were you? You told me a whole her until you make her a bottle. Ain't that what she said? Don't Don't tell me not to ask my pee. That's good. Yeah. It's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chosen the pitching wedge here. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Short game has been you started already, fantastic o? today. Oh, 
was on a good line. Uh, it's just about almost. three feet away. This is what they have left for part. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. And now that finds him in first place. Time to tee off on the 11th. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. This would be a great up and down from this spot. close was that to going down okay Henny what's he looking at with this putt he's got 10 feet here I think he likes it oh gee that line was looking good wasn't it this next putt is for bogey they're a long way from the hole here work to be done and after that effort this is how the leaderboard looks and a quick glimpse at the leaderboard now. And this player holds the lead, with Brooke Henderson trailing in second place. Trying to forget the bogey on the last as they step onto the tee. Not bad. Always a challenging approach to an elevated green. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's currently in fifth place. <laughs> now this putt to get to 18 under par. This one's looking good. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. You finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And now we find ourselves with a par four here. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Yeah, fair amount of elevation here. They're going to have to be careful that they club up because you do not want to be short. Well, it's found the surface, but that's about as much as you can say about it. Outside chance for birdie here, Luke. This is an extremely long putt. You might even have to hinge on this one. This is this good? Remember, there's two important parts of a putt. Line and length. Too much length on that one. Just six feet between here and the hole. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. Well, that's oh, providing terrible. some hope to the rest of the field as our leader stumbles with a bogey. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. <laughs> Setting up in the first cut here. <laughs> Opting for the hybrid, I think. Yep, solid connection. This is looking good. Let's head to the last hole for this wonderful highlight. Makes this from way downtown. And back to the play, shall we? This is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Just three feet to the cup. Well hold. Let's move on. We have a par three on this one.
Looks to be going with the six iron. Look at the line on this one. Oh! That's a golf shot. Phenomenal shot. Kick in birdie. Well done. My God. <laughs> Oh, the ball stopped right by the hole, bro. I almost had another one. I almost had another hole in number line. seven on the scorecard. Now four shots up after that hole. Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. Yeah, that should find the cut stuff. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Hey, guys, we are checking in with John Rahm as he gets set for his next shot here on the 17th. You're a good person. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Elevated green up there. Luke's going to need to take one extra club here, I believe. Man, do hurry. Get get your big ass head off that fucking well. That shit costs too much. That ain't no pillow, please. Thank you. Get off that well. That shit is not no pillow. And choosing the eight iron here. And here we are with the third shot. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. And with that hole finished, they're currently in the lead with Brooke Henderson following in second. Here we are at the 17th tee. Just walk out and see. Nothing will happen. And this is stop until you make a choice. Don't you get that already? Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up here from about 155. Going with the pitching wedge here. Yeah, well played. Long way away from the hole if they want to make the birdie, though. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill, but of extra juice needed. Okay, steady now. Seven feet to the cup. Right over the spot they were looking at. Nice little putt to hole, that one. Currently in first position. Well, here we are, the 18th hole. Lining up from about 230 yeah, yards here. Right Left yourself an opportunity. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt.
didn't quite judge the speed on that one. Oh, good look at a birdie here. These are on rails, looking good. This putt's about four feet from the hole. And that'll be all she wrote today. Well played. Well, that's a shame. Off to a great start, but ultimately they blew it. They did. It was, uh, they had everything going in the front oh, nine, and all of a sudden they make the turn, and where does it go? Right down the toilet. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.